Hi, today I did a, uh, a liquid extraction uh, from a client and what uh, that is when we have energies or entities that are inside us then uh, we, we take them out and I use my, uh, my big crystal to do that. Um, it works really well, hugely, hugely powerful and we're going to cleanse that. Now I'm going to do it now, this time of the evening because the sun has gone down over the hill and um, and it hasn't set, so the sun's not up and we haven't uh, gone into darkness. And this is the best time to, to do the cleansings um, because we're, the, the veils between the worlds or the veils between the realms are at their, at their thinnest. So it's the best time to, to, do, uh, to do this sort of work. Also the best time to pray, to pray properly uh, and also to give blessings and to give blessings the the way that the ancients were taught, not the way that we were taught now. So if you need uh, more information on that, let me know. Um, I've got videos and blogs uh, on my sites to have a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this crystal and uh, and send the energy, the negative energies and entities, the liquid entities, um, to the healing centers in the spirit world, uh, or to the healing power of light and love. But we're not just leaving them and, and letting them go. And this is a one of the things with, with people that do this work is that we have to make sure that when we have these energies or entities, and they could be family members, they could be from any type of situation that come in at work or social gatherings, pubs and churches are, uh, are typical places where we pick up these energies and entities, um, but we need to send them home, send them home to the healing centers in the spirit world. Uh, that's the, the main uh, place where I send them to. So I will show you um, how the, the processes of doing this. This container has Epsom salts in here and I'm uh, now going to put in um, alcohol, pure alcohol from there. Putting this in, mixing with the Epsom salts and then we'll see if this comes out on film or not. We get this clear clean light that will help to, to release and to relieve these energies. I'm now going to pass the crystal through the flame three times. Now I'm going to use my uh, Florida water, my spirit water, to, uh, to spritz the crystal and to help to send the, uh, the energies off into the, to the spirit world and then I'll be throwing it into the four directions. running the crystal with a Florida water, the spirit water through the flames, the energies, the entities, I know there's five in here, sending them off to the healing centers in the spirit world. And now I'm going to blow with the water to the four directions. The ones of the west. The ones of the north. The ones of the east. I give thanks. To the lineage, to my clients, lineage to my lineage, releasing these energies to healing centers in the spirit world. I think this crystal for the work it's done, beautiful crystal. <sighs> thank Great Spirit, thank Pachamama, Mother Sister Jaguar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. And this is some of the amazing work that we do with shamanic energy medicine, working with 
all the modalities that I've learned over the 40 years that I've been practicing natural therapies, working with the crystals and this beautiful crystal, how clean and clear it is, a vogel cut, beautiful, beautiful crystal. It's like, to energies and entities, it's like a cathedral and they're just attracted to this. It's just like going home for them. It makes a big difference having, having good quality crystals doing the work. And what we can get done in three sessions can sometimes take talk therapy three plus years to get the same results. So if I can, uh, any other information you like, get in touch with me and we can take it from there. Bye for now.